Hello everyone, welcome to another homebrew update. I'm your host Troy and today we have quite a few things to talk about but not too much and also one of the things we're going to talk about is the same thing just on different consoles. With that said, let's go ahead and get started. We're going to start off strong on the Nintendo Switch. For those of you who have a Switch on 3.0.0, the homebrew launcher is finally out. Yes, you can now run homebrew on that lovely switch of yours. All you have to do is put your DNS, a certain DNS, under the internet settings. And also you need an SD card that is compatible with the switch with a .nro file on the actual SD card. That .nro file will be the homebrew launcher, but also you can put other files on there as well. Currently only supports one of the libraries that the Switch has. There are two right now. There's libtransistor and I think like libnx or something like that. It only supports libtransistor I think is the one. I didn't put that in my notes but I'm pretty sure that's the one that it only supports right now. But they will support the other library in future uses. Now, this is only for the users on 3.0.0. If you are above 3.0, I'm sorry, you cannot use the homebrew launcher. If you are below it, do not update just to use the homebrew launcher. I would still stay on the lower firmware because of the custom firmware atmosphere that will be released. Who knows when, but at least it is in the works. Now that we got the big thing out the way on the Nintendo Switch, we're also going to be talking about a few of the homebrew apps that have already been released, and I'm sure there's going to be a ton more coming in the next couple weeks. So, I'm just going to kind of lump them all together. I'm not really going to tell each one what it is because you kind of know by the name. The very first one is going to be called Tic-Tac-Toe. Clearly, it's a Tic-Tac-Toe game. I'll have a little image here. Next up is going to be a Chip 8 emulator. Now, I have honestly no clue what a Chip 8 emulator really emulates. So, yeah, whoever knows can put in the comments. I never did any researching on it, but apparently it's a little emulator you can run on the Switch now. And for all the artists out there, we have a homebrew called Pixel Painter. Yes, this is actually a very cool little app. You are able to literally kind of draw on it. It's a black background. I think I have a picture of it here. Yeah, it's a black background and you're able to use different colors and things like that and you just draw in little pixels. And lastly, we have a final burn alpha port as well. And again, I have no clue what that is either, but it's there. Now, I do want to say one thing about their homebrew launcher. And that would be, there are screen burn-ins apparently with the very early releases. There has been a update to it that doesn't prevent it as much. But luckily since these screen burn issues are, you know, they're not permanent. And since it's an LCD screen, they are not permanent, which is good. Done with the Switch, on to the next console. For all those people who are on 3.61 plus on the PS Vita, well... You guys are in luck, but you won't see any luck until the end of the year or even possibly next year. The Flow, a very popular homebrew developer on the Vita, he has ported over Taihin over to 3.61 Plus, even on the newest firmware 3.67. Yes, he can run homebrew on the newest firmware. That is amazing news, but guys, just like the Switch, if you're on 3.61, I still wouldn't recommend you update right now, unless you know you already are on 3.67. Anyway, do not update your firmware. You will be waiting a long time, but I am sure in the end it will definitely be worth it, because you will be able to run Homebrew finally on your Vita. And last but not least, we are going to be talking about the PS4. There is a new emulator on the PS4, and again, it is the Chip 8 emulator, which I have no clue what it does. Yeah, that's it. Yay. With that being said, guys, that is all I have for this video. I know it is a very, very short video, but there's not really that much stuff that actually was released rather than the huge news of the homebrew launcher. So guys, what I want to know is what kind of homebrew are you looking for on the Switch since the homebrew launcher has been released? And with that, guys, I really do hope you like this video. And if you did, hit that like button as well as that subscribe button and that little bell icon so you don't miss any of my videos. With that being said, I'll see you next video.